Hey, I wasn't going to make a vlog today. I'm actually very tired. Um, so I've been like going through my old ones that I've got almost in reserve, trying to um, compact them down. Um, and then I felt a bit bad doing that in case, I mean I've just checked and I've got extra subscribers again so I'm like over 50 subscribers and the two videos I've got actually I think I've got three and um I didn't feel well I might put them on as well but I'm going to have to do an up to date vlog as well basically um and will you stop looking at me? Yes. Not in the face. Um, he's putting me off. I can delete that anyway. Um, I um wanted to start my alphabetical categories today. So, um. I would be starting with A, obviously. Mm. I bet you didn't guess that. Um, so starting with A, A is for um, animals. It's not necessarily going to be completely alphabetical, it's just going to be everything that I can think of beginning with A. So, yeah, animals. I love animals. I've always loved animals um, and I love all animals even like bugs and um, worms and uh, just even things that uh, spiders things that other people don't like I love fluffy animals too I keep cats and rabbits as you know but I love all animals I love life and I feel like I have to protect animals and I feel bad that I can't protect all the animals. I feel like we're about animals and babies. Could you try not to speak while I'm just doing this, please? Oh, I'm sorry. No. I'm playing the game. I'll continue. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, anyway, um, like I was saying, yeah. I've always been really good at communicating with animals um, and they usually like me uh, I find them interesting um, especially when you watch nature shows you know elephants and things like that um, sorry if I look upset my boyfriend keeps speaking So I probably have to cut this quite a bit. Sorry if that ruins it. I hate cutting my vlogs. <laughs> so <sighs> my boyfriend's just started talking on his computer game to his friends. And I asked him to be quiet and I stopped and I thought I'll just cut those bits and then he kept doing it. And I, I just asked him to stop five minutes while I make this. And he was like, no, you go to another room. I'm doing this. Uh. Hmm. And it was like, all I needed was like five minutes to make this little video, which I wasn't feeling up to anyway. So I've had to move everything into here because of his important stupid game that means nothing. And there's a party going on upstairs. And they're all laughing at me, I'm sure, because I'm just leaving screen. And you get to see this, and then you're all going to be like, hey, it's Moonji. I'm sorry. I'm not 
perfect. I need to snap out of this. Because I'm not angry with you. Well, don't say I don't give you drama. It's just politeness, isn't it? About if you're on the telephone to somebody and you don't make noise while the other person's on the telephone. I mean, he wasn't talking before I started. Right. A is also for asexual people. Asex I'm not asexual, but my um, older transgender sibling is, or was. I'm not sure now, but grow I suppose you always are. What asexual means is that you don't have sexual feelings for other people. So it's like... You know how bisexual like girls and boys? It's like the opposite of that. Um, instead of being horny for everybody, not that everyone who's bisexual is, but um, they don't generally have crushes and they don't have the need, they don't feel like they need to have sex. And they might think of it in quite um, a um, clinical fashion a lot of the time. Anyway, there are lots of people like that who don't get they don't get spoken about a lot so there's not a lot of press for people like that so I wanted to touch on on that because it's funny when you grow up with someone like that when you're like the total op well not the total opposite but you're um, someone who's always had crushes on people and always been interested in sex and stuff also A is for anger and I used to have a lot of trouble with anger even until I went to university um, and I have a short fuse I still do, I think, get angry quite quickly but I can calm down quickly as well um, and a lot of it was frustration like I've explained to you before about like outside influences making my inside sort of meter build up until you blow well, living in chaos, as I did in my mom's house, um, I was pretty much up to the limit all the time. So anything, she, it wasn't just being a teenager. Anything she said that was slightly annoying, and she does talk a lot, so it's like, rah, rah. and I like get, I used to get annoyed with her quite a bit, uh, and with other people as well uh, at school and college. Yeah, but I never really, I was violent as such, and um, if I was, I, I would push people, like, to get them away. Um, a is also for asthma. I used to have asthma attacks. I still get them when I'm upset. I remember going to the um, doctors about it, because I used to get it when I was running. But usually when I was running, it's because I was late, or I'd get stressed when I was running, because... Um, it pee was a stressful thing because I was like bad at it and um, I had the worst cycling shorts and my boobs would jiggle and all the boys would point and stuff it was just not enjoyable yeah I don't know but yeah and I remember him saying and do you so you get it when you're running and do you get it do you have asthma attacks any other time and I was thinking well I get them when I'm upset and I thought I can't say that I can't say that that sounds silly so I went no and I thought oh and I've never forgotten that and I've always regretted it and when I get very stressed I say like, mm, it's like that mm, it's horrible so I probably like lost all those extra viewers that I got before I will try and be entertaining for you next time maybe um, was, yeah oh A is also for Asperger's syndrome, of course, <laughs> um, and autism. And Asperger's syndrome is um, the high functioning end of autism, and people with it generally have above average IQ. So I don't like people when they think, oh, autism is stupid. Yeah, it's not, usually not. And a lot of other people, when they've heard of it, they, it, they think of a savant. 
and I'm not necessarily, you know, a lot of people have it and aren't, so don't expect mega genius from everybody either. But I'm above average, um, and they often have trouble um, looking people in the eye, or they may even, they may have problems looking people in the eye, or they may stare. Um, you can't always go by that, everybody's different. Um, and they take things very literally. Um, so and so basically we can't read between the lines but then with experience sometimes you can a bit if it's a regular occurrence but say I don't take hints I could never take hints I had a lot of trouble getting on with people with, because day to day you have to lie and it's very different it doesn't come naturally to me I don't think of that and um, I tend to rethink I go over everything that's happened to make sure I haven't missed anything I like re glean information over and I often get something ages afterwards and think, oh that's what it was, that's what they meant. Um what else? Um a lot of people have aversions to um flashing lights uh, or types of sounds. Uh, um and um they may have trouble um making really friends that's working in a group um might keep themselves to themselves quite a bit um the older i've got the better i think i am at working in a group i used to find it extremely difficult at school uh, no one really wanted me in the group and i found those kind of activities extremely difficult because i was a bit of a perfectionist at the time but not particularly able to produce perfection and also i, I people always used to say i like tried to control everything or I wasn't wouldn't say anything and I found it really hard to do something in between and to go along with I'm I'm quite I'm better at being diplomatic now than I was and I'm less because uh, I'm more easy going about how everything goes it's better because I used to be so particular fussy they all call me fussy um, oh yes a lot of people often have sort of obsessions or interests that they and they learn every single thing about that thing and they like to talk about that thing to people um, even when those people aren't really that interested and they might not be able to tell and they sometimes have a problem with stu uh, conforming to social uh, rules that don't seem to make sense to them um, and I hope I've not offended anybody with anything that I've said this is gonna, I'm sorry that this was highly edited, but it was not an easy vlog to make um, due to my partner. And um, I didn't want to do this vlog in here in like this. I wanted to do it in there. With the light hiding my face. A is also for art course which I love I I drew my first portrait when I was two um, it has a face and a nose it has a mouth and a nose and eyes um, and the eyes have eyelids and the nose has nostrils seriously it has the date on it and the page was yellow and it was great uh, it was with a black crayon and it's like I think I remember doing it almost in one go like because the head goes round and then I do the mouth with like a, the mouth has a squiggle on it but I, I quite like it it's really expressive the nose is great um, I'm probably remembering it better than what it really is but um, and I used to be really good at copying um, I started off by copying sketches and faces I love drawing faces I study faces um, just yeah, and I used to do objects uh, and faces. And, and at the moment, I'm not drawing so much. But if I did paint, it would be oil paints. And um, I'm completely out of practice with sketching. But I still love art. And it makes me feel happy to create something and relaxed. And you know, life is good when you when you're painting and drawing. It's like being young again. <laughs>